The Sarmatians were a group of nomadic Iranian-speaking tribes who dominated the steppes of Central Asia and Eastern Europe from around the 5th century BCE to the 4th century CE. They were closely related to the Scythians and shared many cultural and linguistic traits. Originating in the region north of the Caspian Sea, the Sarmatians gradually migrated westward, eventually occupying a vast expanse that stretched from the Ural Mountains to the Danube River. Their expansion was fueled by their mastery of horseback warfare, and they are renowned for their use of heavily armored cavalry, known as cataphracts. By the first century CE, the Sarmatians had become a dominant force in the region and often clashed with the Roman Empire, both as enemies and, at times, as mercenaries. Culturally, the Sarmatians maintained a semi-nomadic lifestyle, relying heavily on horse breeding and herding for sustenance. Their society was highly militarized, with both men and women participating in warfare. In fact, Sarmatian women warriors were a prominent part of their culture, possibly inspiring the legends of the Amazons in Greek mythology. The Sarmatians buried their dead in kurgans, which often contained weapons, jewelry, and other goods to accompany the deceased into the afterlife. Their art and craftsmanship, particularly in metalwork, reflected a mixture of steppe traditions and influences from neighboring cultures such as the Greeks and Romans. Despite their martial prowess, by the 4th century CE, the Sarmatians began to decline due to internal fragmentation and the pressure of migrating Germanic, Slavic, and Turkic tribes, which eventually led to their assimilation into other cultures. For this video, I have gathered the raw genomes of 18 academic Sarmatian samples. With PCA-based ethnicity calculators such as Global 25, they resemble Iranic Central Asians and populations of the Volga Ural region. The most common phenotype among the Sarmatian samples was Nordic, but other phenotypes such as Mediterranean, Pamirid, Alpinid, and Uralid were also quite common among them. Here is a morph of all predicted phenotypes among the 18 Sarmatian samples. The most common eye color among the Sarmatian samples was brown, but lighter colors such as blue, blue with amber center, and green were also very frequent. Overall, the Sarmatians were clearly similar to Europeans in eye color. The most common hair color among the Sarmatian samples was dark brown, with black colored hair also being fairly common. Only one sample scored dark blonde hair. No sample scored light blonde hair. The most common skin color among the Sarmatian samples was white, followed by olive, but one sample also had palest skin and two samples had light brown skin. The most common predicted hair shapes were straight and wavy, with a minority of samples scoring kinky and curly. The majority of the samples had a predicted nose shape that is Greek, which is a long and aquiline shape of the nose. The majority of the samples were taller than average, and a minority of samples were predicted to be of below average height. The Sarmatian samples were equally predisposed to warrior and warrior phenotypes, showing a predisposition to average rate of dopamine reuptake and stress tolerance. The Sarmatian samples were quite strongly predisposed to a higher number of D2 receptor sites, which predisposes them to schizophrenia and against no-go learning. Speaking of thought disorders, they had a high predisposition to bipolar type 1. The Sarmatian samples were also predisposed to a lower level of 5-HT, which predisposes them to higher odds of depression and anxiety. The Sarmatian samples were predisposed to a higher odds of autism. One of the samples was predicted to be lactase persistent and carried the Northern European MCM-6 variant for lactase persistence. The Sarmatian samples were strongly predisposed to a lower level of empathy based on OXDR genotypes. The Sarmatian samples were predisposed to a lower odds of cardiovascular issues and most had an average predisposition to deep vein thrombosis. Six out of 18 samples were carriers for hemoglobin E disease risk variants. Nine out of 18 samples carried risk variants for one or more rare genetic condition, out of which four individuals carried risk variants for familial thoracic aortic aneurysm on its own or along with some other condition, and five individuals carried risk variants for some other condition, but not for familial thoracic aortic aneurysm. Multiple sclerosis predisposition of Sarmatians was comparable to Europeans. The Sarmatians had an average predisposition to Alzheimer's and a high predisposition to age-related macular degeneration. 
The Sarmatians had a predisposition to average odds of epithelial cancers based on 8Q24 genotypes and higher than average odds of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotypes. Speaking of autoimmune conditions, the Sarmatian sampled had a very strong predisposition to type 1 diabetes and were also strongly predisposed to ankylosing spondylitis. The Sarmatians had a predisposition to average odds of obesity. The Sarmatians had an average predisposition to syncope, higher levels of LDL cholesterol, which is bad, and higher glucose levels, which is also bad. The majority of the samples had long telomeres and were predisposed to a longer lifespan. No samples were predisposed to hemochromatosis. The most common blood type among the 18 Sarmatians was A, although O blood type was also very common. Two samples scored blood type B, and two samples scored blood type AB. Thanks for watching. Links to research data as well as all the data needed to replicate this research will be in the description of the video.